Good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 6th of 2024, and this is the 219th weigh-in. Okay, so, oh boy. Okay, good morning. Let's get back to proper lifting, shall we? It's been a little too long. Douched it out for the last week or so, a little less. But we're back to it. Man, I've had a, a bear of a last couple of day, couple of days. It's all a bit of a blur. Just lots of coding, lots of battles to the death. Luckily, I'm still alive, so. I ultimately succeeded at what cost, you might ask, who's to say, but I got the features. <laughs> and this one, like, I'm still 99.9% .9 of the way there. There's a couple of things that are stuck in my cross, so to speak. But we're doing it. We're doing the damn thing. And I keep getting these, like, ads on Instagram for dating apps because I've like opened up a couple just to see what the competition's like. And oh my gosh, there's so many new dating apps, which just reminds me, no matter how good my app is, like <laughs> the marketing is what's most important. All you have to do is look at a, a garbage app like a Bumble to know that, you know, with the right team and with the right marketing, you can have a lot of success, so. Um, I'm going to have to be really clever in the marketing if I'm going to make it happen. One. And I am having some good ideas. So. Oh, I trust that I'll be able to get there. <laughs> or at least I'll be able to put in a good effort. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Not bad. Not great, not bad. Oh. And some of you have been wilding in the comments. My goodness. I love to see when people get triggered because I don't eat what? Nothing but fruits and vegetables and lean meats? Like, calm your tits, man. This one guy was wishing heart disease on me and was saying it was gonna be, I think he said something like the first on YouTube to die of heart disease or something like that. Like, chill, bro, my goodness. And why? Because I questioned him saying, like, you need to eat better. I was like, okay, what do you mean by better? Like, do I need to eat higher protein, less preservatives? Like, what does better mean? And uh, questioning his dogma didn't agree with him. Having his question, uh, dogma question, rather. But yeah, just uh, calm down, man. I, I'm sorry that I'm fat, but... It doesn't mean that I can't eat normal foods. Like, thin people can eat pizza. Like, what's wrong with me eating pizza? Oh, it's different. You're fat. Like, oh, okay. How so? And I could get it if you were like, you know what? You, you have an addictive personality. You can't eat pizza moderately. And if that's the case, like, yeah, you're right. But if I am eating it moderately, like, where's the sting, right? I don't know. I'm feeling for you though, bro. It's not your fault. Here we go. Oh.
Oh, wow. Ah, that's why I keep thinking it has to do with like the sacred and the profane. And for some reason, like when you see a thin person eat what you would describe as unhealthy food, it's like, oh, it's okay. They could get away with it. Clearly, it's not having an effect on them. But when you see fat people, you're already disgusted by them and already a little angry at them for letting themselves get fat for being so gross in your mind and causing you disgust that you almost like have anger towards them and you take it out on them and you're looking for any excuse to demonize them. So when you see them eating a piece of pizza, you're not able to decouple the notion of pizza from, un, from healthy eating or unhealthy eating. So watching a fat person eat a piece of pizza, even if it's in the context of a healthy meal, that could be more triggering than if you see them eat a 3,000 calorie uh, chicken Caesar salad with tons of dressing. It's just, you know, we, we, we try our best. We're very sweet, but we're also very retarded. Humans make lots of mistakes. We really don't know better. And the other thing is, it's that to have to think about everything critically, it just takes too much energy. Our mind thrives on automaticity. We need to streamline things as much as possible to conserve energy. Uh, our brains make up something like 8% of our body weight and they take up, it takes up 90% of our oxygen needs, something like that. Like it is not a thrifty organ. It is quite expensive so that's part of the reason why we do and say stupid shit so I don't blame anybody we're all doing our best but if you find yourself getting angry chances are it's because you're getting frustrated and it's because whatever your concept is uh, it's not standing up to scrutiny or reality and therefore you're going to continue to get triggered and upset by it if you don't change it, right? And that, that goes for me too. Um, seeing people get triggered by my eating, it triggers me when really I should just be able to understand it and table it and just realize that, you know, most people are, are stupid when it comes to nutrition. <laughs> and really, they just don't have my experience uh, and my sets of experiences that have uh, made it abundantly clear that calories are the sole predictor of, uh, I mean, I won't say sole predictor of the rate at which you, well, it is. So uh, the number of calories you track is not the sole predictor because of differences in thermic effect of eating. If you eat more calories that are higher protein, you're actually going to use up fewer, or you're going to use up more calories and therefore your food will have a uh, lower actual caloric content than if you eat certain foods that cause uh, more calorie burn in terms of chewing it. Uh, that's also the case. So calories are the sole predictor of the rate at which you lose weight. It's just that doesn't mean the calories you're, you're tracking or counting are the sole predictor because there's a lot built into that. At, at any rate, that was a typical academic little, little hedge, a uh, little caveat where as I should just stay with the simple response, which is, yeah, only calories matter. Okay, here we go. Ever the academic, I suppose, huh? Uh. Uh, 
That hurts a little bit. Oh, it hurts starting it's hurting here. And it hurts right there. So maybe I should shorten the range of motion. Oh. 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 Nope. Oh. Mm. Little elbow pain, a lot of stimulus. Not a bad trade off. And after this, I have to do the video for yesterday. It seems like the traffic or the views is, the number of views is up a little bit since uh, I started posting at around noon. So I'm gonna ride this wave for a little while longer and see if I don't get some more views that way. Oh, yeah. Still got high to low flies. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna, or I've probably already posted the video of uh, Thor being super cute on Sunday night. I forgot to, I, I forgot that my mom had taken the video. It was right before I went to uh, Spy Bar and Thor was pulling my shoe off my foot. That's one of his favorite moves. If you're not giving him enough treats or even if you are. Um, so usually if you leave your shoes on the ground, he's going to steal them and he's going to hold on to them until you give him a treat, which is better than what he did when he was at my sister's, which was he would eat my niece's Ugg boots. Supposedly, two pairs got destroyed within three days, and that was when they knew he had to go. <laughs> but that's just a joke. Uh, well, it's true, but I hope that's not the only reason. Um, so with him now... If you even leave your shoes on, he will scratch at your legs and gnaw at your shoes until you, <laughs> you let him have them. <laughs> I've, I've been on the couch real tired with my sandals on or, or Crocs on and he'll, he'll just like take one and then I get it back and then he takes another one, get it back. He's, he's nuts, but we love him. Oh, and he's on a diet, I forgot to mention. So. He's had, uh, his tummy's been a little rumbly and he's fat. So uh, this week he's on uh, basically like a PSMF, a protein sparing modified fast, whereby, you know, we know he could fast for a week and he'd be fine. So instead I'm just giving him a pound of chicken a day from Costco. So a pound of rotisserie chicken a day. And uh, so far he hasn't eaten anything else but that. So staying disciplined. It's harder to uh, restrict his calories than my own, but he'll be better for it. Oof. Ooh, the shoulder feels great. <laughs> oh, nice and stable. Ugh, not at all painful. <sighs> okay.
Wesen. Here, they're usually attracted to that light right there. Oh. Okay. Round one done, two more to go. Uh, I think I'll go eat some lunch, edit the video, post it, and then uh, do a little more work with the website as I want to do. See you in a bit.